What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Episode two on building a all-wheel drive drag Silverado out of Mississippi Queen. So today we're going to start taking some pieces off of Mississippi Queen and kind of set them on here. I want to start making the transition, get everything going. Um, still waiting on some parts, and I'm trying to actively find an all-wheel drive differential. So if you guys know anybody that's got one, let me know. This actuator, I don't really know a bunch about four-wheel drive stuff, but I can't get it to actuate. So I would like to just swap it out and not have to worry about it ever again. But let's uh, get this thing down on the ground, roll Mississippi Queen in, start taking some stuff off of it, getting it ready to go onto this chassis. All right, guys. So I was able to acquire a transfer case. However, I goofed, and this is not exactly what I need. So being that we're running a power glide in this unit, I was able to look it up, and I found that they use a 241C and they use an adapter plate to bolts here. So my power glide, I have to take it apart, change the output shaft, no big deal. It'll be just a shorty output shaft. And then you leave the tail housing off, the adapter plate that I have on the way, bolts from that to this. However, I thought I was being smart and not being knowledgeable in the four x four world. This has a slip yoke eliminator on it. Well, we need one of those. So I'm gonna have to find the pieces to change this back so that I can have a slip yoke. Cause what happens when the suspension articulates separates and compresses and stuff like that the slip yoke's able to move in and out a little bit the off-road stuff they use a spline shaft so it can actually slip inside of itself i can't i don't think i can use that i'm going to talk to psc before i change this and see but i don't think that will be strong enough in this truck i think we'll demolish it so i'll find out for sure before i go swapping this um but worst case scenario we can swap this out or i'll find another one but i ended up getting this and the shifter for the four-wheel drive so i have both of those pieces so we can start swapping this stuff. I don't want to put the bed on yet. We got some stuff we got to do back here as far as shock mounts go. Uh, our sliders should be on the way. And I got some other stuff for the axle for the leaf spring mounts. Uh, being that this is a flip kit, that is not. Uh, I had to get some adapters, not adapters, some brackets basically from Hammer Concepts. And they bolt to the bottom of the leaf spring and give us a little bit more adjustment in our cow track bar. The other thing I got, instead of using U-bolts on this, they clamp to the spring. Um, I got their weld on perches, which actually just bolts right to it. So no U-bolts to worry about slipping or anything like that. So those are on the way. Um, but I do want to get started on this. We'll probably leave the bed off for now. Uh, and then we'll leave the front end off just in case we end up swapping some of the stuff up there. Um, it'll be easy to get to. So I at least want to get the cab on today. Probably take the bed off, set it on the truck. Um, I wanted to skin the bed. We'll see how that goes. Um, I want to get this done and then modify from there. But... That's going to be the task for today is start getting this thing apart and getting stuff swapped over and at least off so I can get rid of that chassis. All right, guys. So I did go ahead and pick up some new body mount bushings because these old ones were, uh, they're a little shot. So at least we'll have some fresh body mounts. These are polyurethane and uh, we'll get those on there when we go to bolt the body down. So we're going to roll this thing out and uh, get Mississippi Queen in here and start taking it apart. It's got the old chow going on to it it's a little low it won't be able to sit that low the axle will be pissed off if we leave it like that but we're gonna pull mississippi queen in i haven't fired it up in a few weeks so let's see if it's got any battery how loud this thing was fully recommend zoomies on anything it makes anything sound good but i wish you guys could hear this thing in person because it sounds ridiculous i love it all right so now we got to make a game plan of where we kind of want to start at and uh i'm not really sure i'm going to look over everything see where i want to start 
I believe we'll have to pull the fenders and stuff, but I would at least like to get the body off. The bed's pretty easy. It's only six or eight bolts, a couple plugs. Bed comes right off. Um, we'll have to disconnect some wiring back there um, and some fuel line, which I think will be pretty simple. Uh, the way we did everything back there, I think we could just unbolt a couple things and we should be good to go there. Uh, we can get the bed off and then start working towards getting the cab off. So we'll make a game plan real quick and then uh, start taking stuff All right, off. Guys, I think we're going to start with taking the bed off. I got some stuff back here, but the way we wired this using these back here, I can just disconnect them, drop them down through the bed, and then these are connected on the bottom side. So I can just pop those off. None of this stuff even has to come out of there. Nitrous line, push back through, wiring, push back through, and then we body bolts off of the bed and lift that off. And then we'll probably just set it. I'll probably roll this truck forward, pop the, the body off, and then maybe we'll roll that back forward and just set it back down on that. That way it's out of the way. Get that out of the way. Uh, and then we can start working the cab off, get that swapped over, and just we'll make our way forward and uh, go from there. All right, guys. As for up here, I believe steering shaft and just a couple wires up here that we can just disconnect from the firewall. And the whole cab will be able to separate from everything else after we get this other stuff unbolted. Should be able to just pop it right up. One bed bolt. Two bed bolts. Three bed bolts. Got to turn the power up a little bit. Wouldn't even tie. Well, that one was loose too. Not flung the bed off. That would have been good for show, you know. Maybe then we would have worn burn out. Oh, we gotta do the uh, transmission cooler too. Shoot, all right. This one's loose too. I guess we didn't check these after they were uh, swapped. This did start life as a step side, and then uh, we made it a fleet side. Well, I didn't even do it. I traded somebody a bed, and they swapped it for me. They was in a hurry, it looked like. All right. Everything up top is disconnected. We need to do the... We need to do the training lines or unbolt the cooler itself. Hmm. Which one sounds less messy? Right. Well, it looks like the bed is off now. All right, guys, we got a truck bed. They got no shocks on it, though. It's real springy. I'm surprised how high this thing sits. I know it's got a taller tire on it, but this has a flip kit on it. So I honestly thought it would sit a lot lower. But we'll see. Roll it back outside, get the other one back in here, start getting the cab off. All 
All right, guys, we're going to start taking the body off. We got to do some exploratory removal of parts. Um, I think the fenders are only attached by a couple bolts, so we're going to try pulling the fenders off first. And then we got some wiring, steering shaft, shifter cable, minute things, and then the body should come off. Crap, it'll melt a little bit right there. Should be a bit easier. Finagle it out a little. Should be all of them. It's all of them here. Oh, oh, oh. There she goes. There's one. Well, two. We got two of them off. Thing looks like a whole eagle out there. That looks kind of cool. Motherfucker! All right. Well, that makes getting the stuff pretty easy. This whole front piece that'll come off on its own, and then we'll get the body off, and then motor and all that can come out. Pretty simple. All right, guys, we uh, think we got everything loose from the cab. So we're going to try and lift it up slowly, make sure, and then uh, hopefully it comes off. All right. I think we're up. I do believe we are up. Shifter cable is clear. Well, dang. Is pretty stable. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it doesn't tilt off. Stay. We don't have any way to steer this now, but we got to roll it out and then roll the other one in and set the body down real quick. This is freaking me out a little bit. All right, guys, we got a body. That took a little bit to get this thing bolted down. This body mount did not really want to go in. However, this truck, before I got it, had a little tweakage under there, so I'm wondering if that was an issue, but I ended up having to take the pad off of that piece right there, putting it on the new polyurethane mount with the washer and lifting it up just a little bit to squish it down so I could get the bolt in, started enough to run it down the rest of the way with the gun. But it's all bolted down. Looking pretty good. So now we can uh, work on uh, the rest of that stuff over there. Get the motor out. That's all we got left. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. 
I mean, it's not even lunchtime when we got here about 10 o'clock. So it only took us about two hours to do all that stuff. Never doing it before, so not bad. So I swap the rear end. And this is what I was talking about with the power glide. So this has a long tail shaft on it. This piece will come off. This will stay unbolted. Um, there's a shorty shaft that goes on here, then an adapter plate, and then the transfer case mount. I don't know if that mount's going to be in the same spot. Um, but in the other truck, I already have a power glide cross member that fits. So we'll just have to kind of see how it lays out and go from there, I guess. So we're running into our first set of issues so far. Steering shaft doesn't work anymore. Headers, fenders don't line up anymore. <laughs> I think the uh, new body mounts are, might be a little taller than the ones that were on here. And we're about a half an inch from where we need to be. So may have to modify the headers. Definitely gonna have to modify the steering shaft. But the motor is bolted into the truck. Transmission is on the floor so we can get that done finished up um yeah we could yeah we could do that we could just open the fender hole up a little bit and just make more it plates it. it'll cover up some of this stuff but yeah we could open this up more mm -hmm. yeah we could do that It'd probably be cheaper than redoing the headers but other than that i mean it went pretty smooth we'll see once we get the transmission cross member and all the transfer case stuff in there i'm sure there's gonna be some custom stuff but so far so smooth bodies bolted on beds on we can remove that if we need to get some stuff back there which we will have to do shock mounts um in the front i'm going to leave the front end off for now uh, because we got to do upper shock mount so we probably will end up even just pulling the headers off to do that because they're going to kind of be in the way of that um but yeah progress a lot, lot of progress today a lot more than i actually thought was going to happen today i thought this was going to take a whole lot longer than it has but it is five-ish o'clock on Sunday evening so I think we're gonna call it quits for the day go get some dinner and uh, relax for the rest of the night as for the OG frame we still got to take the coils off some of the wiring stuff uh, bumper both bumpers actually and get the rear end out of it other than that not sure what to do with this thing I have had somebody that was interested in buying it so we'll see from there but got to get this rear end out I was gonna get a new housing but uh I may just modify this one instead of waiting for parts to show up. So we'll see what we kind of got going on. I will have to take the couch racks out of this uh, and then the lease can go right back in. We have the mono lease that have been on the floor that you guys saw in the last video. So those will go into that chassis. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Got to make a steering shaft on that and uh, modify the fenders a little bit to fit the headers from the, I'm assuming it's the new body mounts. Um, the, that frame might be just a little bit different. I don't know. It is one year newer than this frame. Um, so we'll just have to see other than that went pretty smooth, but I appreciate you guys watching and, uh, next episode, maybe we'll talk about that white truck that we got in the background there and, uh, what we're going to do with that. I appreciate you guys watching as always stay tuned. We'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.